All right, CF Moto Man here. Uh, we're back here with another video on accessory we're going to put on. Um, as I said before in my overview video um, of the C Force 600 Touring, um, I was I did hook up a plow, and uh, you can see the plow here. It's a Colpin plow, not Coplin. Uh, but yeah, um, when I was lifting up the winch, it's kind of been grinding a little bit and I was able to do some research and found that uh, these come recommended uh, for this particular problem. So um, what we're going to do is install this. Now it doesn't definitely does not seem like a very hard install. Uh, so what you need for this is, um, I bought uh, a brand off Amazon. They're probably all the same. Uh, and uh, what you're going to need is a 10 millimeter socket. You're going to need the Allen wrench, which comes with the stopper. And that should be all. All right, let's get to it. So first thing that we're going to have to do is let out the winch. So we'll turn on the ignition and let it out. Now this is probably easier with, with two. All right, that's definitely more than enough. What we'll do is we're gonna have to take this apart. So we're gonna fast forward through this. Okay, so just like that, we have it apart. And now we're just gonna have to clamp it on to this uh, bottom part of the winch line. It looks like there's two parts. Um, this is not a mirror image. Looks like the bottom has some sort of inlay. Um, I assume to go against the bottom, this this part where the, the stopper will actually be squeezed against. So we're gonna put it that way on the line. And then when we tighten the winch, it should automatically fit nicely. Got all four on there. We can put our washers on. And then we can put the nuts on. Two. Let's do the third. One that already has the washer still on it. Okay. Okay. We're gonna crank this because the washer I don't think it can really strip too easily. Okay, and then I, I wanted to do this without my impact wrench too, because probably most most viewers are working without that. So last one, and then we'll Go around and tighten them all up. Alright, go around. Okay. okay. Cool. Alright. Seems uh on there pretty good. So now we'll tighten things. Uh, cushiony thing there and so it doesn't uh, looks like it, it does it probably could pull right through it if I kept going but at least I'll hear an awful strain from the motor and for all intents and purposes I'll try not to get as close as I can uh, again I'm not really 100% sure how to um, um, properly install these I didn't look up any videos or anything, but 
and it didn't come with any instructions, but uh, all right, yeah, that'll, that should do the trick. Okay, well, uh, yeah, if you guys have any more ideas for things you want to see or um, any closer looks at stuff on the on the quad, just uh, hit me up, leave a comment, and uh, give a give a like and subscribe. I'll try to keep putting out more videos.